Hello, hello, my name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to the Familia. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe because legit, I'm always here. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies but goodies. So you guys, if my lips look dry AF, it's because they are. Right now, we're in fall, right? And in LA, it's hot, but dry. And when it gets cold at night, it's really, really dry. Like my hands are dry, the lips are dry. But since we are dry, I always, always want to recommend this, but I always forget to tell you. It's always in the description box. This A&D diaper rash ointment for the lips is so good. It's not for the lips, it's a diaper rash ointment. But I use it for my lips. I wear this every night. Your lips are cured the next day, I promise you. Link it for you, but I always, always recommend this because it's so freaking good. I know you're here. You're here for this. Mid-September, I was thinking, I love to wear black. I wear black in every video. I just appreciate the color so much. But black lipstick is not talked about so much. I see it often in October because it's Halloween and stuff. I want to just try every single black lipstick for you, all kinds of stuff. Just give you some tidbits of every brand and how they feel, look. I just thought it would be a fun video in celebration of black being such a beautiful color. It's October and I just love doing lip swatches for you. If you've never seen my lip swatch videos, I usually do is lip swatch everything in the beginning in studio lighting and in daylight. And towards the end of the video, we just talk about it. So if you're down, let's just get started with these lipsticks. And before we get started, I just want to show you the order we're going to go in. We're going to do drugstore first right here and then move on to the three high end right there. Don't mind my dirty desk right there. But yeah, let's get started. All right, first one up is Revlon Matte 20 in Onyx. This is the Revlon in Onyx. And in daylight, this is Revlon and Onyx. Next one up is Hard Candy in Black Diamond. This is Hard Candy and Black Diamond. And in daylight, this is Hard Candy, Black Diamond. Next one up is NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Alien. This is Nick Suede in Alien. In daylight, this is Nick Suede Matte Lipstick in Alien. Next one up is Milani, number 24, I Am Invincible. This is Milani, I am invincible. And in daylight, this is Milani, I am invincible. Next one is Milani, Amore Matte Lipstick in the shade Leather. This is Milani Amore Matte in Leather. And in Daylight, this is Milani in the shade Leather.
All right, next one up is NYX Liquid Suede in Alien. This is NYX in Alien. And in daylight, this is mixed liquid suede in Alien. Next is Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade Pitch Black. This is Rimmel Stay Matte in Pitch Black. And in Daylight, this is Rimmel Stay Matte Pitch Black. Now the last drugstore is Maybelline Super Matte Ink in the shade Thrill Seeker. This is Maybelline and Thrill Seeker. And in daylight, this is Maybelline number 285 Thrill Seeker. All right, next up is Sephora Collection in their shade 28 Nightbird. This is the Fall Collection in Nightbird. And in Daylight, this is the Fall Collection, their shade 28 Nightbird. Next one up is Melt Cosmetics in Bane. This is Melt Cosmetics in the shade Bane. In daylight, this is Melt in the shade Bane. Oh my gosh, last but not least is Smashbox in Tar Pit. This is Smashbox in Tarpit. And in Daylight, this is Smashbox in Tarpit. Right, wow, wow, wow. I mean, the majority of the shades, my hands are dirty. The majority of the shades were very, very, very pigmented. Who knew there were so many great black lipsticks and liquid lips and okay let's start let's start first and foremost the lipsticks the bullets were very 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 hard to apply i don't have the biggest lips i don't have a huge cupid's bow and these lipsticks just weren't really helping especially because the shade is such a dark shade you can easily go out the lines i started like staining my face with the lipsticks just because usually glide on the lips so they're gonna already be gliding they can just kind of glide out this way especially the drugstore bullets they just weren't really easy to use or to apply the best one to apply the color the packaging is the melt cosmetics it's 
so beautiful and it has a really really matte texture and feel on the lip usually lipsticks that say matte are really not matte they're like a soft matte or a velvet matte you kind of get a little bit of both but this one is the mattest lipstick bullet I've ever put on my lips and I was like oh okay and because of that application was easy it wasn't gliding I was able to shape my cupid's bow perfectly and look it's still pointed the shape of the actual lipsticks the pointier the better especially if you're not wearing a lip liner do you know what I mean I was shocked I'm like wait am I tripping because a lot of the times when I was swatching them I would turn the camera off and really just apply correct it clean it up do all that stuff so with all of them with the majority of them I did that the one I feel like is the most most pigmented that I was like shook was the Milani which one is this shade the leather shade it's so pigmented like it's black but as much as I love that the Dofa was okay it wasn't as user friendly is it dries matte literally in 3.5 seconds and then it gets peely on the lips so as i was applying it fixing up my cupid's bow doing all that stuff i saw it dry down and peeling immediately so i can't imagine you wearing it for more than 10 minutes with it peeling really showing texture on the lips it just uh, the formula i don't know it just is really peely but it's the most pigmented one out of all of these i was just like whoa i loved it i loved it it was so black it was so luscious literally the moment you place it on but when it dries down girl she a mess the one i felt i keep in i'm keeping them in order so i don't like lose my train of thought the one i found was best in general drugstore was this one the color had a little gray cool undertone but other than that, I think the application was beautiful. It glided on the lips. The applicator was helpful. It's similar to the Milani's, but it doesn't pick up as much product as the Milani one does, which will lead to the possibility of messing up a little quicker. It's super suede. It really has that suede feel. It glided on the lips. This was the one that I didn't mess up. I think there was two that I didn't mess up at all. Also, because it's not matte, it will transfer because the moment I took it off, it immediately removed. And I know with black lipsticks or any colorful lipstick, I personally prefer matte colored lipsticks because once they dry down, they're not going to move. But also there's mattes that are super drying and they're going to crack and show texture. And then there's other mattes that dry down a little bit more on the hydrating side. Talking about mattes, this Thrill Seeker from Maybelline. I actually swatched this last year because this released last October. But I'm like, let me just add it here because why not? Let me just show you everything that I have. This one I think is the best longevity wise. This one, it's pigmented. It has the perfect doe foot applicator. And you guys know Maybelline Superstay lipsticks doesn't pick up a lot of products. So it won't be chunky on the lips. Lips won't feel heavy and it lasts a long time. The only thing that I would say with matte lipsticks, any sort of matte lipsticks is add one layer, let it dry for like two or three minutes, add a second layer and then let it completely dry for like 10 minutes. So you don't have that transfer. I've had a lot of you guys tell me that this transfers a lot or it doesn't dry down but I do find because the formula is a little bit on the thicker side and it is very pigmented you have to give it time to really dry down these are very similar to the L'Oreal Pro Matte Lipsticks so that's a little quick tip for you if you are using this lipstick just let it dry and yeah drugstore oh the worst drugstore is this Rimmel although at the end when I was showing the final look it looks super black and pigmented but I literally had to build this up five times I put that first layer you guys saw how patchy it was and I let it dry for two minutes with the second layer let it dry two minutes and I had to really let it dry down Rimmel super inexpensive so if you if you don't mind doing all those layers sure this will get to the end result but it's not matte though either oh, okay this is just not a good lipstick it stay matte but it didn't feel matte I immediately was able to remove it and it was gone this one was like the worst the worst the hard candy one had that 
has, it's called diamond something, but it had glitter in it. I'm not a big fan of it. And this one, the Revlon, although it was hard to apply, it did have a good amount of pigment. I did notice though with the drugstore bullets, you had to really go a couple of times to really get that, that pigment going because once it hits the lips, it kind of like warmed up quickly and it faded a little bit. So you had to go back. I did see that happening with all of these. This NYX matte, it was nice. It felt matte, but it does have a little bit of suede. But again, you did have to really go over and over again and it wasn't easy to apply. But this one was also a good one. Let me not take it out of the bunch, you know? Now let's talk about high end. I... The, all three of these were the best. I absolutely love these. I don't have any complaints in any of these because this Sephora, I think this one has to be my favorite overall. Like overall, if I have to pick one, if you wanna know which one I would buy again and not have to buy another black lipstick is this one. Because look how tiny the dofa is. Smaller dofas are perfect for people that have smaller lips or anyone in general, but people that have smaller lips, the dofa will fit so perfectly and you can outline your lips beautifully. This one again was super easy, like glided too. It really glided on the skin, on the lips, not the skin, well, you know, lip skin skin lip but it does dry down matte it's not drying matte though it has that thin drying feel or drying look um, i really like my mattes to be matte i just don't want them peeling and showing all the lines on my lips you know what i'm saying i'll link everything below this one i told you guys was the best lipstick wow wow i am shocked and the packaging it's like magnet i love it my camera literally shut me off because the card was too full so we're back we're back in action okay where did we leave off i think mel loved it bomb smashbox i feel like smashbox is not talked about these days but wow this lipstick pigmented it glided this is the one i have on it dries nice look nicely nice you know it shows a little bit of texture but not bad it feels comfortable it's not sticky yeah and usually with matte lipstick you just need to give it a little bit of dry down time but this one is very very comfortable because the formula is thin but very very pigmented and very black i even had to add the black liner because we needed to get all the black feels even my toes are black i got them black for halloween wow i am so excited i got to do this finally i think this is it i hope you enjoyed this video it was super fun to do i love 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 black i wear it every single day and i think black lipstick is beautiful and it's bold i really wanted to do like a silver eye but i couldn't do all that today i'm just blabbing now but i'm just so excited this was so much freaking fun most important question is which one is your favorite let me know if you've tried any of these do you have any of these do you wear black lipstick? Do you think it's too bold? I think it's bold and it's beautiful, you know? And it, this was kind of fun ranking these lipsticks, huh? I went in really not knowing. I just wanted to see, fill them, and kind of express to you exactly how they feel, look. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!